Layer Marker Batch Editor is a batch editor for your layer markers. Duh. <laughs> um, the way it works is it allows you to work on markers that are within the comps work area. So for example, if I wanted to work on these two layers for just these two markers and not affect these markers, I would just put the work area in the and so like that. And let's say for example, I wanted to shift both of these. You can go forward or backwards and then you can do frames or seconds. So I'm going to just shift them forward 30 frames. So again, work area, both layers selected, hit do it and you can see they got shifted forward. 30 frames. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that now. So then if I wanted to affect all of the markers, I just put my work area like this. Now I'm going to turn off the time shift. You can delete the markers. But we're going to go ahead and jump ahead here to the comment. In any of these text fields, which this basically mirrors if when you double click, the batch editor mirrors everything you can do in the layer marker. So as you can see, including flash key points, chapter work links, and all that stuff. Now the difference is that you can do here all of this stuff just all at once. So you could have hundreds of markers and hundreds of layers and it would all do it all in one go. We built in some special commands that would allow you to have unique namings for each layer. So for example, um, we could use the marker number. So you can see here marker number. So you just select the text field you want that to go into. So in this case, comment. And I'm going to hit use and that will insert the marker number there then you can actually type any mark or any um, anything that you want so for example I'm going to put a space dash in another space I'm going to write the word Bob and then in this case for example I'm actually going to edit one of these markers so for example this marker here is going to say Frank and then this marker back bottom here is going to say a mark all right so so two markers have names already. And actually, this can be on anything. For example, on Mark, we're going to actually put a Q point here that's going to say gun. And then we're going to say uh, parameter name is going to say TV show. And I'm just going to show you how you can actually come in here and say, for the flash Q point, I'm going to use a special marker called save comment. So I'm going to say use save comment. And I'm actually also going to up here in a marker number after Bob, I'm also going to save comment. And what that does is it anything that it finds in here already, so in this case, Frank or Mark is going to insert that here where it says save comment. It's going to save whatever was there. And in the case of the parameters, you want to actually check keep existing parameters only because this works a little bit differently. I'm going to change them all to navigation. And then in here for this one, I'm going to write a new parameter called car pool. So in the case of this marker, it's going to actually keep what it had and then it's going to insert this one afterwards. And then on each one of these, so for example, if I wanted to insert this special command here, there's actually one here for date. So this one here formats the date like so. And you can actually change the formatting in here as you want. So instead of having forward slashes, I could actually just go with spaces. And then and for the URL, there's another one here that has actually, yeah, this is another kind of formatting of the date. And then for frame target, I'm gonna, this one here has a long date with a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so as you can see, you can change the formatting of the date. There's a link on the web post that shows you all the formatting options for dates. And that's going to insert today's date. And um, let's see, we can put the layer name for the chapter here. So again, you can just do a dash. You can just do whatever you want. Um, and then just use the layer name. Let's put the layer name up here as well so we can actually just see that. So again, space, I can do, uh, you know, I don't know, forward slash, backslashes, however you want to do it. So once we have all that stuff inserted, you just hit do it. And as you can see, it just did it for all of these. I'm just going to move this forward a bit so we can see. So as you can see, this one here, this layer was called Frank. So I put the marker number marker number one for this layer a dash then it saved it then put the word Bob and then the save comment for this one was Frank right so that's why I put Frank in there then it put the layer name afterwards but in this one see here this one did not have Frank this one here had mark and if we open this one we can see that it put in the uh, the date here in three different formats as you can see including the time 
I put in the layer name for this one. And then over here, it saved the existing flash cue point gun for this one. And then as well, it saved car and pool. And then, it, I'm sorry, it saved the TV show and it added car and pool from here. And for other ones where, you know, there was no flash cue point to save, it just left it blank. So there was no error, but it did switch it to navigation. So that's it. In a cinch, this is the layer marker batch editor. Hope you enjoy it.